will for sure deliver them on time. <laughs> as much as Buddy was accepted by his family and friends, there were a few drawbacks to being a human in an elf's world. Buddy's a little short on the toy quota. He's only made 85. <gasps> oh my. That's right, folks. You've heard it here. Buddy only made 85 etchy sketches. But that's okay because he, it, it turned out he's a human, not an elf. So it makes sense that he didn't meet the quota. Are we ready to get to the North Pole? Alrighty, here we go. Let's see. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I think it's time for Buddy begins his journey from the North Pole to New York City. All of his friends wish him luck on his adventure. Bye, Buddy. to do a little decorating. Lies. And from that throne of lies, fake Santa chased after Buddy. Fun fact, that scene had to be done in just one take because it was too hard to rebuild the set. So now that we've done our one take, well, we are gonna travel back in time a little bit, just 30 years, nothing crazy, to the year without a Santa Claus. It was a part of a trilogy of stop motion films that are classics, Rankin and Bass. Um, and it starred Mickey Rooney as Santa Claus. You can't make it better than that. <laughs> Come on in, everybody. I've got the coolest cat in snow biz for you. Oh, it's my. the snow miser himself. Well, he's actually modeled after the one and only Danny DeVito, so maybe he gave you some nightmares too. <laughs> Feel free to take as many pictures in here as you would like. Like 
a cold front, a second cold front coming through. Maybe mm. like right around this general area. I'm not really a weatherman, but sometimes <laughs> I just get these like atmospheric impulses so we can see what's really going on here. thing over there. Thank you. Oh my. <laughs> Hello, Feliz Navidad. My name is Pedro. I'm your PA for this leg of the tour, and welcome to Ralphie's Pink Nightmare, or as I like to call it, a dream come true. <laughs> Okay, thank you, thank you much. How are y'all doing? All right, how you doing? Yeah, that's what we love to hear, everybody. Oh, we have a small group this evening. All right, 
welcome everybody to none other than the set of the 2004 animated classic, The Polar Express. Starring the likes of Daryl Sabara, who's best known for his role in the Spy Kids franchise, as well as the incomparable Tom Hanks, who played not one, not two, but five characters over the course of the film. Alright friends, feel free to join me in Yeah. And admire the 1980s aesthetic that surrounds you in this room. Anybody remember the World Bucket Encyclopedia series? Oh, yes. <laughs> All too well. <laughs> Our story begins right here in the heart of Beverly, Massachusetts in the year 1956. Our dear friend, Hero Boy, is awoken in the middle of the night by a very special visitor. Now, the Polar Express is unique for a number of reasons. In addition to being one of the first to feature motion capture technology, most of the cast is largely unnamed, featuring names like Hero Boy, Know It All, Sister Sarah, to know, name a few, but oh my goodness, friends, it looks like we're about to have a very special visitor of our own this evening. Oh my goodness, the lights flicker, the earth shakes, brace yourself, friends. Oh my goodness, I think we're nearly there. friends. It looks like our special visitor is finally here. So have your golden tickets ready because we are about to embark on one wild ride. Hi. Oh boy. <laughs> None other than the EP1225, also known by its more informal name, the Polar Express. Did you guys might just want a photo hop with us? Sure! Santa, right this way, my friends. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's Santa right there. Kind of looks like Tom Hanks. Amazing. Josh Groban, I can all pretty much say with confidence that all of us believe. Is that right? We're ready to have a great Christmas. 
All right, well, then right this way, we are going to go to the third and final stop. <laughs> well, while we are waiting here, I will let everyone know National Lampoon Christmas Vacation was released in 1989. Now, it did star Chevy Chase and Beverly D'Angelo. Well, hey, I actually already called them up. Thank you. Thank you, my friends. I'm happy many of us know what TV show Chevy Chase actually got started on before he did join the National Lampoon Christmas Vacation. Yeah, Chevy Chase and Beverly D'Angelo were the first two actors to join the cast. Yeah, they got started on before he joined the National Lampoon family. It's been on for almost 60 SNL. years now. SNL. SNL. And on that note, come on in and enter the Oh, it was good. <laughs> yeah, back when it was good. <laughs> oh, look at this. Of course, we have the family station wagon. It looks like they hit a tree on their way in. We can't trust those Griswolds <coughs> with anything. They took the roots and all. <laughs> now, I heard that the Griswolds have finally paid their power bill and that we should be able to get these lights to work. Do I have a volunteer that wants to help me plug on in these lights? Oh, sure. Absolutely. Now these prongs are a little bad, so we might have a little trouble getting it in there. But on the count of three, we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. Excellent. Can we give our bond here on three, two, two one. one? Oh my goodness, look at you. This must not be the first time. Thank you. 